Hi guys, today we're building an auto painter app. And so far I've got a package, uh, I've got a um, class there, auto painter app, which is this, not much, and a placeholder image that I'm going to use to automatically paint in this app that we're going to build. So let's do the basics. Let's have a pain root. Preferred size, I'm going to use 800 and 500, which is the size of my image. Um, you can use any size you want, depending on what kind of placeholder you're going to use. Let's have a canvas. Do I need to pass the size as well? I think so. In graphics context, and we're going to use this to draw our stuff. So this app of ours is going to automatically draw the image, possibly using different ways, but we'll see how this goes. Children add canvas. And we're going to use animation timer as per usual when we want to animate something. Let's go with that. I'm going to start the timer because I always keep forget uh, keep forgetting to do that. And we're going to call on update, which is a thing that we're going to create. Not quite here, but this will do. Right, so what else do we want to do? Uh, let's just draw an image. Oh, we don't have an image yet. Okay. So, image. Make sure to import the JavaFX stuff rather than AWT images or anything like that. Uh, I'm going to load image over here. Get class, get resource, uh, then the name of your image, which is placed in the same thing. Depending on if you're using Maven or Gradle, this will be slightly different. But if you're using Maven or Gradle, you know what to do. So I'm going to skip that. Uh, new image, that should load it. And then let's draw our image at zero, zero. And then run this. Hopefully this will run and show us um, <clears throat> an image positioned at zero, zero. It's taking a while to compile. Okay, yeah, that's what we want. So now, as we can see, this is kind of, you know, normal and a bit boring because it just draws it. So how about we animate this thing? Make it a bit fancier. How can we do that? Well, if you want to animate an image, you typically want a list of pixels of that image. So you can draw individual pixels rather than the entire thing. So let's create a class to store our pixels. And x, it's the position of the pixel in the 2D coordinate system. And we need a color, because that's what pixel really is. Um, we might even get a constructor in here. Do I? Yep, that's what I want. That'll do. And then once we've created our image, we want to populate all the pixels. For image get height, for image get width, we can add a new pixel, x and y, and the color is image get pixel reader get color at x and y. Nice. So we've populated our pixels. Now we want to draw each pixel individually. And how are we going to do that? Suppose we want to draw, um, I'm going to call this num pixels. Let's get it to 100. So we're going to draw 100 pixels per frame. While, um, 
I guess pixel index or to store something like that. Pixel index zero. While pixel index is less than pixels size and number of pixels is greater than zero. And then we're going to reduce number of pixels by one every time we do draw this. We want to draw. So we want to get a color which is pixels at a pixel index and then get color of this thing. Once we do have the color, uh, we want to draw something. So how do we draw a pixel? What do we have? Draw fill fill a rectangle. Yep, that'll do. So we want to set the fill color, which is the color of the pixel. Then we're we're going to fill a rectangle based on. Okay, so we need to extract this into something different. Uh, pixel. Px. P, Y, and the width and height are one. Yeah. So that's going to do that. Pixel index is going to increase by one. Is that everything? Let's give this a try. So I've populated all the pixels. Yeah, so that's a bit more interesting. We're now drawing it 100 pixels in one frame and we're drawing it pixel by pixel, as if you have a very slow internet connection and you're loading the image that way. In, increase the speed to 1000, and then that should be a bit faster. There we go. So we're now drawing an image um, using our little animation. So that's that. Um, that's kind of your standard animation from left to right but if we wanted to go even fancier then what else can we do well this is a list right so and we're going we're going in order of that list because of the pixel index so what happens if we reshuffle this that could be interesting so populated our pixels uh, collections shuffle our pixels. The image will still be the same because we haven't changed where pixels are, but we have changed the order in which pixels are drawn. So you get this interesting randomized version of the animation. Random is cool, but we want to have some kind of an ordering to this chaos. So shuffle is not going to do. What we can do is sort by using some kind of a, um, what was it called, comparator. Let's try, comparator, comparing double should do. So what is it, it takes a pixel and then we need to return some kind of a double. Okay, uh, how about X? So that should go from left to right by simply sorting the pixels. There we go. So we've changed the order in which pixels are drawn again. Um, right now we are going from left to right. Instead of going uh, vertically, we're going horizontally now. And there are various other things you can do. This is where you start really to uh, experiment. So how about uh, we do something a bit more interesting? Like we take some... We're going to and expand this to lambda. And then let's have a center point, this one. And then say, well, center is somewhere here. I think that's exactly where the center is. And then we're going to return some values, some double value, which is going to be used for sorting. And if we do center distance, for example, to the pixel. That could be interesting. So it'll be sorted based on the distance to the center. So it should start drawing from the center. Yeah, that's what we're getting. 
And uh, what else can we do? Yeah, as a last thing, I'm just going to add some random points in there and draw from these random points. It's not going to be center anymore. Uh, so just 100 and 200, say, are going to be one of the points. Let's add a few more. A, C, uh, that's going to be there somewhere, 500, 450, and then 300, 2, 3, 9, or 3, 3, 9, yeah, something like that. And then we're going to take the, okay, so that needs to be a distance, right? So it's distance 2 px, py, because we need to take into account the uh, distance to the pixel, in which case this becomes a double. And then we take the minimum, um, minimum of a and b, and then we take minimum of c as well, meaning whichever is closest, just pick that one. Yeah, so you can see it starts drawing from these points that we specified um, reasonably arbitrarily. Anyway, uh, in this small example, we did, well, we drew our image, but possibly using unconventional ways, and but it gets a bit more interesting like that. You now have certain animations if you wanted to draw an image using a different style not necessarily effective um, or efficient because we're drawing only a thousand pixels per frame so if you want to increase that you can to get a faster animation depending on how many pixels you have and how many um, how large the image is but at least you now have a few ideas on how to go about drawing your images in a slightly more interesting way shall we say Right, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.